start recording. There you go. Um, we're going to begin uh, looking at thirds. Thirds. You would have seen thirds in the past. They first, you first encounter them way back in year eight. So we're going to start with a little bit of revision about what we know, uh, and then we're going to build upon that. Okay? So, um, what's a third? Okay, so a third is a number involving uh, the root sign that cannot be reduced to a whole number. So, for example, uh, root two is a third. Root three is a third. Root 4, which equals 2, is not a third. Continuing, just extending the idea just a little bit, uh, if I talk about, uh, say, uh, root 8, well, root 8 is equal to the square root of uh, 4, times 2, which is uh, the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, which is 2 root 2. This is a third. Because it involves the square root sign and cannot be simplified to a whole number. Uh, we can position, or we can locate, we can locate uh, thirds on the real number line. Now, you may have done this in year eight. Um, it's painful to do it uh, very, very accurately. Uh, and I'm guessing that uh, if uh, you're sitting there without a, uh, a set of compasses, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult. So I'll describe the process, and I'll have put a diagram up of it on the board uh, so you can see what that looks like. But uh, you're not going to be asked uh, to, to, to make this construction in an exam. It's enough that you see how it works. So if I was to draw uh, a number line starting at zero with marks every, uh, every uh, one unit, so one, two... Now, of course, I'm doing this as neatly as I possibly can. And then I went along uh, to every uh, every unit mark, so at every whole number, I went along and I drew a vertical one unit length. So that's one unit, and it's perpendicular. Over here at two. That's one unit. Over here at three, that's one unit. Over here at four, that's one unit. Over here at five, that's one unit. Over here at six, that's one unit. I can keep this going, of course, right? If I uh, get a set of compasses and I open my compasses up, so I put the point of my compass down here at the origin, and I open up the... the pencil side of my compasses to the very top of that uh, that vertical there. Uh, then Pythagoras tells me, because that's one unit there and that's one unit there, Pythagoras tells me that, that my compass will be opened a distance of root two. So if I then come down with my compass and put a mark down there, that position there is the square root of two. 
Likewise, if I put my, the point of my compass down at zero and I open up to the very, very top of the mark at, at two units, well, Pythagoras tells me because that's two units and that's one unit, what's, the, what's my radius going to be there? Well, if that's two units across the bottom and one unit across there, well, close. Pythagoras says that that's the square root of that squared plus that squared, so it's going to be five units along there. Oh, sorry, the square root of five units along there. If I come down here, that brings me down to root five. It is confusing, did you say? Right, well, well okay. Let's stop there. I'll, I'll, I'll clean the board and I'll do this again larger and we'll, we'll get more of a look at what's going on. We can do more detail inside, but we'll stop. We'll actually do the more detail on our larger diagram. Has everybody, at least up to the, up to the full stop here, has everybody got that down? Okay. It's going to go up on the, on the YouTube channel anyway, so you can always catch it later on. So let me very quickly get that out of the way and start again with that construction. So what's your, what's your name? Of it's very funny you should ask. It's very funny you should ask because when Mrs. Davies saw uh, my YouTube, my very first YouTube that I uploaded from Extension 2 this morning. <laughs> Hallie, what did you do then? Fair enough. Um, when Mrs. Davies saw uh, my um, YouTube from Extension 2 this morning, she um, said, oh, wow, you know, move over Eddie Wu. It's time for, for Davey Wu. And I joked back to her and said that Eddie Wu actually contacted me and said he was considering changing his YouTube channel name to Eddie Obeid. So it's time to think about it and get back to me. Thanks for getting that, John. I appreciate that. Okay, um, so we're looking at, if I, if I have, so all this is is a, is a number line I had drawn there. So here's my zero on the number line, here's one unit. If I come across to one unit there and I draw a one unit vertical, then think of, look at this triangle here. That's one unit there, that's one unit there. According to Pythagoras' theorem, this is the square root of one squared plus one squared. That's going to be the square root of two. I'll just leave that there for now. Oh, no, I won't. So imagine I put my, my, the point of my compass uh, there at the zero, and I open my compass up so that the, the tip of it is up here at the end of that, uh, that hypotenuse, and I draw an arc. So I go from there and I draw an arc down to here. Well, that means that this point here is root two units along the number line. Does that make sense? Well, let's, let's, let's look at it again. Let's look at it again. Let's go right back. Let's go right back. Uh, who can tell me what Pythagoras' theorem says? Yep. It says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So in other words, if I rearrange that, C squared is A squared plus B squared. Well, that means that C is the square root of A squared plus B squared. In this triangle here, that was one unit, and that was one unit. Fine. Where would they go? No. So if that's one unit and that's one unit, according to Pythagoras' theorem, that distance there is the square root of one squared plus one squared. Well, what's one squared? One, thank you. So the square root of one plus one is the square root of two. That distance there is the square root of two. Brody, is that okay? No, no, okay. Okay. So so if that, if that length there is root two, and I put a compass point there, and I open up the pencil part of the compass there, and I draw an arc. 
Well, the, the radius doesn't change, right? If it's root 2 there, it's going to be root 2 down there. Well, that's how I find this, this plot down here. Well, now I know where root 2 is on my number line. Okay, now look what I can do from here, Brody. At root 2, I can draw another one unit going up. Well, now what have I got? Now I've got a triangle where that's one unit there. That's root 2 units there. How do I work out that hypotenuse? Well, Pythagoras' theorem says it's going to be the square root of root 2 squared. What's root 2 squared? 2 plus 1 squared. Well, the square root of 2 plus 1 is the square root of 3. So now that length there, this length here, is the square root of 3. So likewise, if I put my compass point there, and I open the ends of my compass up to there, and I draw an arc down, that takes me down to root 3. So the base would still be, so instead of it being root 2, it would be root 3, and then the, like that side yeah. would be 1? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. So that, that vertical side is always 1. 1, 1. And if I did it again, I went, if I went up 1 again there, well, now I've got a triangle where I've got 1 there and root 3 there. Well, according to Pythagoras, I've got the square root of that squared plus that squared. Well, that's going to be root 4. Well, what's root 4? 2. So had I drawn this really, really neat, this would actually be 2 on my number line. And so I can keep on going. So I've got root 1, root 2, root 3, root 4, root 5, root 6, root 7. So I can, I can construct all of the square roots on the number line if I wanted to. You know, it gets messy because I get uh, closer and closer together, but, um, but we can do that if we wanted to. So Yeah, for sure. Okay, so uh, a very brief note on simplifying thirds. So a few rules just to make uh, our simplifications a bit easier. The square root of uh, A times B is the same as the square root of A times the square root of B. Uh, the square root of A divided by B is the same as the square root of A divided by the square root of B. And uh, the square root of A uh, to the power of N is the same as the square root of a to the power of n. Now, as with algebraic addition and subtraction, uh, we can only uh, add or subtract like thirds. So, in other words, you need the same thing inside the, the root sign to be able to do addition or subtraction. Don't panic too much, guys, if you don't uh, keep up with the notes, because it will be available uh, on the Google Classroom, uh, on YouTube in the Google Classroom. So um, let's look at some examples of that. So 
if I have uh, 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3, just like with the algebraic addition and subtraction, because they are like suits, because they're both a root 3, I can add them. So, and I only add the coefficients, I only add the numbers out the front. Same deal with subtraction. So 7 root 5, take away uh, 2 root 5, is 5 root 5. So the thing inside the square root does not change. So let's look at multiplication. Uh, and division. So I've got two thirds. One is A times the square root of B times C times the square root of D. Well, then the coefficients, the numbers out the front, I multiply as normal, and the parts inside the third, I multiply them as normal. So same deal with division. Uh, A root B divided by C root D is A over B times the square root of B over, uh, sorry, A over C, forgive me. A over C the square root of B over D. So a couple of examples for that. So if I've got, uh, say, uh, 4 root 3 times uh, 5 root 7. Well, the coefficients get multiplied, so the 4 and the 5 get multiplied. Give me 20. And the 3 and the 7 get multiplied, give me 21. Likewise, let's say I had uh, uh, 20 root... Uh, I don't know, 12 divided by 5 root 4. I know that root 4 is 2, I'm just doing it for purposes of illustration. So that's going to be 20 divided by 5 is 4, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the 4 comes from the 20 divided by 5, and the 3 comes from the 12 divided by 4. Likewise, over here, uh, the 20 here comes from the uh, 4 times 5, and the 21 comes from the 3 times 7. Now, that's uh, a refresher of the basics. Obviously, uh, the problem's going to become a bit more elaborate, but I'd like you to, to get in and have a go before we speak about some of the more nuanced kind of uh, things you're going to come across. Exercise 2A, uh, that'll be in the Google Classroom. Um, and uh, if we can have a go at... The, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do every question in 2A. 2A is revision of year eight concepts in thirds. Right? If there's anything in 2A that you're having problems with, you please, I beg you, you must ask for help and clarification. All right, guys, thank you.